Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth, and I am back again at last for your mid-March uh, monthly tarot scope. Uh, this is mid-March 2015, and this is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Leo. These are this is for the big cats um, of the zodiac, and. Um, so the thing is, is just as a quick update, um, everybody's been asking for these and I am going to be doing these again for April. Okay. Using my regular Shadowscapes tarot. Um, and so, um, I am going to be rotating through my other decks and there's another deck that I haven't rolled out yet. So stay tuned for that. Um, that's, that's really a money deck. It's finances. Um, people, some of you have asked me about career and I'm not going to be doing a career deck at this time. Uh, maybe sometime in the future, but, um, the finance deck, um, will pretty much cover anything to do with money. Uh, so that includes your career. So I guess you could call it a career deck uh, if you wanted to. That's not going to be revealed for another couple months. Uh, it may be sooner than that, but um, it's unlikely. Um, and then I'm going to be coming back again in mid-April or sometime in April with my with more sex and relationships uh, uh videos with using my erotic deck with uh, the Decameron tarot deck um, but I um, will be keeping up with the, sh the regular um, as like my main and then rotating through I won't be doing the health um, readings um, probably I probably will be doing a health reading for April they take a really long time they take about two hours per video um, to do so it's quite labor-intensive so unless it's by request so guys let me know if you want me to roll out another series um, for April or for May um, just let me know uh, I am doing my private reading still so feel free to email me Elizabeth Olson 31 at gmail.com and I'd love to get you set up for a reading I don't have a website yet um, so working on that so um, yeah that's about it my one hour is 75 my two hour is 150 and I am still doing the tarot cord cutting combo which is 90 minutes and it's a hundred dollars so I actually almost did half of a video uh, for you guys, but had to stop my computer. And um, so this is try number two, okay? But sometimes on the second try, you know, you get different things and things kind of strike me yeah, a little bit better. That, that one, that reading actually um, was a little bit confusing. So let's go with this. This feels... Um, like there's things that are going on that are kind of making more sense to me. Um, so the track that you're on, first and foremost, and again, this is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Leo, okay? Or any strong Leo in your chart, okay? Um, this is the Queen of Swords. And this is an Aquarius woman. This to me is your, an Aquarius woman because this is your opposite. Can also indicate a Capricorn woman. Um, for her to be in the heart of everything, you're probably watching this, you're a male Leo, okay, and you're watching this, and um, if you're a female Leo, then there's this Queen of Swords person in your life, um, and she's, she has a very sharp tongue, she can have a very sharp temper, her exterior is quite, she comes across as quite cold, but her heart is good, and her heart is warm. And she can be quite caring and nurturing for uh, nurturing uh, animals and uh, plants love her. Um, she kind of is and can be quite the detective. Um, she sends out her you know, butterflies as here as spies, okay, into the world. So you may have quite the network Leo of spies. She could be your spy, okay. Uh, it's also possible, like a best friend. Um, Leo's an Aquarius, you know, you guys are, you know, opposite. So it's, to me, relationships with Leo's are like love. It's like a love hate relationship or it's either or, okay. It's your best friends. You're like this, or you're like the worst enemies. Okay. And a lot of times you can start off as being enemies, but then become best friends. 
I always say life is a game of opposites, especially for Leo Aquarius. I don't know, their dynamic is very much, um, you know, you're very, very different because Aquarius is all about everything needs to be equal. The playing field is very equal. But Leo's come in and say, no, the playing field is not equal. I am up here. You know, it is the playing field. I am the playing field. That's what Leos are like. You know, it's all about me, you know. Uh, and Aquarius is our lake. Dude, get off your high horse, you know. Uh, they'll shoot you down, you know. Uh, Aquarius says R. So if you have an Aquarius in your life, Leo, um, this this could be her, um, where she's she's willing to burst your bubble, okay. But you can make good partners in crime, okay, because Aquarius are the brains of the operation, and, and the Leos are like the muscle, the brawn, you know what I'm saying? So... You know, you might have an interesting dynamic. Um, that's kind of how I feel. Um, but she's definitely in the heart of everything. So there's something going on with her. And now it's crossing crossing you, okay? Um, now, let me just say, if you don't have an Aquarius female, it can also be Capricorn female in your life, okay? Whether you're male or female, you could have this woman in your life either. Um... It could just be that you're looking for truth and honesty and trust. And it can be that you've turned into the ice queen. Um, and the only thing warm about you is your heart. That's the only thing left because you've frozen over. Um, it's difficult for me to imagine a little bit because Leos are so warm. They have so much fire energy. It's like hell freezing over. You know, it's, it's, it's like very unlikely, but still possible. So it could be you in the sense that you're just looking for, you are the embodiment of truth and trust and loyalty, and you will settle for nothing less. You're bridezilla, okay, to the nth degree, okay? Um, and the crazy thing is, okay, so what's crossing you is the devil. What's crossing you is uh, feeling trapped, feeling stuck. Being, you know, chained to money, being chained to a job just to do it where you don't even really like it anymore. It's just you're going in and you're, you know, punching your hours, you're collecting your paycheck, and it's just, it's not, it's not working for you anymore. Um, it could be also that somebody else has gotten your heart and they're lording that power over you. It's almost like, you know... I'm going to use this example where, say you call somebody up or ask somebody out, right? And they ignore you. But you know that they got your text message. You know they did. Or maybe they responded um, and said no, but they took a long time to say no. Uh, they might not have even responded. That's lording it over. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that wants that kind of attention. Um, I just feel like somebody may be, somebody knows you like them, okay? Somebody knows. And that whoever it is that knows you like them is taking a, advantage of it, okay? Um, Leo, you may be the devil and... Um, or you may be in a relationship with the devil. It can go both ways here. And this could be a guy or a girl. Generally see the guy is the devil. The girl is in the trapped cell. Okay. Sorry guys, but that's kind of how I see it. But females can be a she devil too. So <laughs> don't, don't let me discriminate here. Okay. So it's possible, um, that, that, that could be, um, The, the thing about the devil is the devil has addiction problems. The devil has drinking problems. The devil is, you know, this is the seven deadly sins. You know, someone who's tortured by the seven deadly sins, something, someone that's, someone's that's tempted by everything that's worldly and selfish and being a slave to everything that's worldly and, um, and I think Leos do get stuck, I feel like, a little bit in the trap. Because Leos find their self-worth and their self-esteem through others and what other people think of them. So if they have a really nice watch or if they have a really nice car or if they, you know, wear a nice, 
you know, necklace or whatever. You know, they, they, they get their attention by kind of showing off. They're like really good at showing off. They love to show off. And um, hence, you know, the big hair, you know. So it's easy, it would be easy for a Leo to get stuck in thinking that, you know, you've got to have it all, bigger, better, more, you know, everything. And when, in fact, you're, you're kind of, you need to break out of that thinking and out of the, the routine that you're in that's kind of supporting that thinking, um, getting a tangle on this. So, you know, you're in a routine, you're in a rut. You know, you're doing stuff just to build your castle. And the castle is empty inside. It's empty because you're not filling it with the good stuff in life. You're just filling it with the exterior stuff, making it look pretty. You know, and they, I don't know what percentage, and I should look this up. I read this somewhere, and I'm an Aquarius, so, like, I'm an, like, info, information whore, okay, when it comes to this stuff. And it said, like, there's a certain percentage of people, I would go far as to say, I think it was something like 90 or 95 percent of people take better care of the exterior of their car than actually the interior, okay? Like, people don't get their oil changed. People, you know, don't make repairs. Don't People don't do their 100,000 mile maintenance. People don't, you know, upgrade their tires. People don't, um, and when I say upgrade, I mean I'm talking about having their tires rotated or change their tires to make the tire when their tires get old and things like that. It's just nothing to do with appearance or, you know what I'm saying? They just don't, they don't take care of the inside of their car. And so... They take care of the outside of their car. They, they make sure that they get their car washed. You know, they make sure that it's all shiny and they have really nice rims. But the engine is dying, you know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things, uh, Leo, be careful not to fall into that trap, okay? Um, so uh, in the distant past, you have the moving card. So some of you have moved, Okay. This is the foundation, too. Some of you have moved, and some of you are thinking about moving. For some reason, maybe you're thinking, you know, you're moving again. Um, some of you are thinking of moving in with this Aquarius, okay, or Capricorn woman. Because she's pointing up, and she's pointing to... She's pointing to the castle in the sky, but she's also pointing up to the queen of swords. Um, some of you may be in a marriage that um, you need to break free from, needing to break up, needing to get a divorce. These are the things that go along also with the devil too. That just kind of crossed my mind. Um, so in the recent past, most recently, you got this beautiful card, uh, which I you know, coined as the sex card. Um, but it doesn't have to be. Um, in my Capricorn video, I mentioned how the Ten of Cups is it, at one point, and I'm doing it for this series. So if it, this comes up in this series, I'm talking more about this aspect of this card because I'm going down a little bit down memory lane. Originally, when I got this, when I got this deck, this card was all about how two people had everything that they could possibly want. Their life was as near close to perfect as they, you could possibly get. They had the money, they were happy, they were in love. Um, you know, they just had an amazing life. And they're about to kiss. And that kiss is bliss. Puts, would, put the, would complete them, complete it so when they kiss, there is nothing better. They have it all, okay? Um, it's completion. It's, it's being fulfilled. It's, um, it's love in all of its finer, you know, finer glory, you know, being together with someone, um, that really loves you. And then after that, it turned into the amazing chemistry, hot sex and one night stand card. <laughs> and now it's, so now it's kind of going back to being a non-commitment card. Okay. Um, 
But this is bliss. This is the love. This is the feeling that you have when you're in love. This is the drug of love. This is wanting somebody really badly. Um, wanting to sleep with someone really badly. But in these readings, the series is more about wanting the completion. You know, when two people come together, it's completion. Where it's just good and it feels right. Um, and this could be a Pisces. I'm getting that. Leos, you could be in a relationship with a Pisces. Um, or wanting to be in a relationship with a Pisces. Or wanting to sleep with a Pisces. But I'm also getting very strongly that you have the hots for this Aquarius female. Because I feel like if the Queen of Swords, Aquarius or Capricorn, Aquarius, Capricorn, female, if she took off her clothes and wrapped herself in, this, in a sheet, she would look like that. So chances are you kind of had the hots for her in the past. Or so firstly, I think you still have the hots for her right now. That's kind of my feeling. Um, and, but what's crowning you is this abundance card. So you have a lot of really positive stuff here, Leo. Um, and this to me is you. This to me is you because Leos are the sun, you know? Leos are born in August when the sun is at its best, you know, when it's hottest, when it's, um, shining its beautiful light down on us. So it's like, this is all, this is abundance. This is wealth. This is wealth beyond measure. This can be an inheritance and this can be um, money coming easily to you or a woman who is very wealthy or just feeling like you have a lot, feeling abundant. Um, and it's interesting because we have, we have several wealth cards here. So March to me feels like a very good time for you, Leo's finances. Um, not as much necessarily with relationships. Could be. It feels like the relationship that you had recently, um, may have some issues. Okay. It, the story could be that you really jumped into bed with this person recently and you're finding out that this person is not really who they who you thought they were they were really the devil but they were wearing a ma wearing a mask or they you know they're they're just they're they have temptation issues um, and again this could be you Leo where you're the devil you have temptation issues and you know, what you have with this Queen of Swords is very strong, but maybe, you know, you're looking at another fire sign woman. Maybe this this is a Sagittarius or another Leo or an Aries female who's very wealthy and you're attracted to her. Um, so there's two very strong girls here, um, potentially three, three girls here, because in the distant past, you've got the short-haired girl too. So Leo, guys, you know, you're dating. That's kind of how I feel for you. Um, but I feel like there's some of you are having issues in relationships. Um, and some of you are just getting it on. <laughs> so it can go either way. <laughs> um, we've got the Ace of Cups, which is what's right around the corner, which you don't see coming. And the Ace of Cups is also another wealth card. Um, so the Ace of Cups is the drop of promise. It can indicate because you have all the, these people, you know, I say people, I mean, there's a lot of people showing up in this reading, characters. I mean, if this was a play or movie, we'd have a lot of characters entering the scene, you know? Uh, not a lot of characters exiting the scene. So you may have gone out a lot or you may be around a lot of people. Uh, I may live in a city. I mean, this feels just very active. Um, there's a lot of people in your life. Um, and so the Ace of Cups is the drop of promise. It's that, that drop of rain on your face when you're in the desert and you know it's going to rain and you're so excited. It hasn't rained in so long. And when there's a drought and it finally rains, it's so exciting. And you're just over the moon about it. And... Um, it was so funny because I remember as a kid, my brothers and I, when it was raining, we'd go outside and we'd fill up these buckets 
uh, from the gutter, from the rainwater from the gutter, and we take the water and we put them in the garden. We water the garden with our, the rain, the rainwater, and it was so fun. We loved it. We go around the house to all the gutters and fill and collect, and 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 drop the the water in the on the garden. It was so much fun. So anyway, I don't know why I was going on this tangent. Um, some of you live in a place where water is an issue. I do feel like going forward, water is one of those things we need to pay more attention to. How much water we're using, the water we're drinking. It is possible you're drinking too much alcohol, not drinking enough water. Um, kind, of, kind of getting that as well, because this is the cup, okay? We've got the devil and alcohol. It's very strong here. Now, if you don't drink, this is, this is also... Uh, financial in the sense that it's that sign that it's going to rain when there's been you know a lot of hardship okay so it may have been where in the past you know your bank account was a desert and and now it's just things are starting to get you know you're getting more money uh, things are flowing again financially for you um, I'm still going back to the devil. Be careful that the person that you have the hots for isn't the devil, okay? Just saying. Um, there are some trust issues there. Just to put it at that, leave it at that. I feel very strongly about that. It's coming back. It also feels like you are very focused on money right now. You know, you've got the, the, the big money card that's crowning you, and then you have the drop of promise card, which is an influx of money after hardship. Um, the money is coming to you. This is good. Uh, but that's your focus. So it's like your focus was or may have recently been on relationships um, and moving, and it feels like there's you've been through a lot of change. There's a lot of change going on, moving, relationships, career, um, just a lot. And in March, you know, I mean, this is a very, very positive stuff happening here. Um, and the outcome is the hanged man. The hanged man is you know, uh, having strength, inner strength, and um, patience, and calm, and um, you do need to remember, uh, end of March, early April, to eat right, to sleep right, to take care of yourself, okay, because the hanged, you know, the hanged man is not eating, they've stopped eating, and they've stopped drinking, and they're just kind of getting through life on inner strength alone, and um, what is that saying? Man cannot live on bread and water alone or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting that. So you need to change up your diet. Add some more vegetables in there. I'm getting green vegetables, zucchini. Uh, we're talking lettuce. We're talking cucumbers. We're talking uh, kale. We're talking spinach. We're talking Swiss chard. All that stuff. Um, you need nutrition. I feel like some of you need to take like a multivitamin. Um, I would strongly encourage you to watch my health video. Um, so some of you need to go back and watch my sex and relationship video for Leo for the month of March. And some of you need to um, watch my health video for Leo for the month of March. Because um, I think some of the links there will help you. Although I can't remember what I posted. All I can tell you is that if your the outcome is the hanged man, it just means that you're not taking as good care of yourself as you should in the health department. Um, it means that you're going to be able to get through anything uh, that comes your way because of your inner strength. In everything that you've gone through, whether it's moving or whether it's changing relationships or whether it's financial struggle, because the Ace of Cups in the distant past indicates financial struggle, um, or even in the recent past indicates financial struggle, okay? Um, whether it's any of those things, you're going to get through it because you have the strength to do it. And it's a test. It has been a test, um, going through all this stuff of your strength, of your inner strength. Um, 
so okay and so it's interesting because in the position of emotions we've got you know you um, this is you Leo males um, if it's you know obviously Leo females it's just pure determination so you have outcome being strength or sorry outcome being the hanged man and inner strength and the position of emotions is pure determination um, Leo guys this is you being this is you getting what you want, being determined to get what you want. This is a high-powered lawyer, too. A lot, a lot of times I see it comes in like that a lot. This is also someone with a lot of energy, male and females. You may just have a lot of energy uh, in March, the end of March, specifically mid to end uh, of March. Um, and what's coming in from the outside is support, uh, being supported by a partner. Um, this could be a new business opportunity, or this could be um, a new partner that comes in for you. This, ladies, this is a new, um, could be a new romance, new love interest, someone that supports you. It is also being supported by family, by friends. This is being helped in achieving your dreams, okay? Uh, typically, I see this as being uh, a great partner boyfriend, husband, can be a girl as well, two girls. Um, so Leo, ladies, um, if you're in a relationship with a, you know, have a female partner, this could be her. Um, and also Leo, ladies, we've got um, the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, to me, is male or female. Um, and this is you, Leo, riding that, ho riding that lion. Um... And this is your attitude. Um, and you're very focused on your goal, but you need to slow down. This is needing to slow down. You're not paying attention. I always say this is Leo. This is Richard the Lionhearted, or this is the Joan of Arc. It can also be Queen Elizabeth, okay? Uh, woman um, who's very, you know, aggressive, can be very overly focused on the goal, can be a little bit rude sometimes. Um, just being in a room, like you walk in and somebody gets in a fight, you know, boom. Um, Leos have that ability to attract kind of this aggressive reaction to you. Why? Because your energy is so, you know, you're on fire, okay? It's sort of like setting off a firecracker in the room. People are going to run for the hills, right? the same thing you're a firecracker you're hot like a firecracker and I I had this great t-shirt that said hot as a firecracker and I don't remember what I did with it I'm really mad but anyways um, if anybody wants to send me a t-shirt that says hot as a firecracker I will totally wear it okay any of you Leos that have your own t-shirt business I'll, I'll totally do it um, message me okay message me so so yeah, I mean, this is the this is the person that, that makes a great model. This is somebody that you may model, actually. Um, this is someone who gets a lot of attention, who likes a lot of attention. Leo's, you do. Um, you need to believe in yourself and that you know that it's okay to be your own person. Know that it's okay to just be you. You don't have to prove yourself to anybody or explain anything to anybody. If people are giving you shit, then just let them be on their way, you know? Don't let the people that don't think you're a magical, you know, king or queen to get you down because there's no point in that. Um, and just mainly really just watch where you're going in March. Slow down. Pay attention. Plan things out. You need to start really planning like 50 steps ahead. You know, I wouldn't say, no, I would say more than that. You need to start planning your week your weeks out and your months out and your year out, okay? Really far. Um, but your day, you know, day, you know, from hour to hour, really plan. Try to plan more. Um, but pay attention when you go out, where you're going, what you're doing, what's around you. Um, and slow down. Um, but overall, I feel like it is a positive outcome. Um, and you have, you do have a lot going on, Leo. Um, the only concern of mine is this devil person. Whoever this devil person is, you need to be mindful that they're, 
They're not necessarily thinking about you in the way that you would want them to, okay? They're thinking she's mine or he's mine and I have control over them. In a way, they already think that you're theirs and you're not. So you need to make sure that um, you have a conversation with this person. Uh, they can't have your heart um, unless they are deserving. That's it. You tell them. Go, Leo. Anyways, it was fun reading. Um, let me know how things go. I will be back in April. And thank you so much uh, for all your lovely messages and emails and just being really great followers. So, uh, and subscribing too. So, uh, I'm going to send you some big hugs. Big hugs. Big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care.